Hey everybody, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer, and welcome to a new video. Just wanted to catch you up on a few things. Um, videos, gameplay videos, playthroughs, will resume next week. When I'm shooting this video, I'm not, I think that's right. Yes, next week, uh, playthroughs will resume. Uh, I've been away for like a week and a half. Um, first off, I had such severe allergies, I finally had to break down and go to the doctor. And I uh, got some good, strong medicine, and it's helped clear up my lungs a little bit. Um, second thing was uh, my family was having a little medical issue. My dad, specifically, he's fine. Uh, he needed some surgery, and so I had to take some time off um, just to to help uh, my sister and my brother, um, and you know, help my mom and help my dad. But everything's fine there. And then finally, uh, this week is spring break week for my oldest son. He is a junior, <laughs> can't believe it, uh, going to be a senior next year, and um, we have, uh, we've been doing some college stuff this week, taking some campus tours and stuff like that. So the last week and a half to two weeks have been a little bit hectic and crazy, and I do apologize that the gameplay videos have been sort of sporadic. I have some that are filmed or videoed, but not edited, uh, so I'm, I'm working on those right now. Uh, Wanted to give you sort of a teaser of what's to come. Um, I've got some new games that I'm going to be introducing you to. Uh, these are uh, war games or skirmish type war games. Uh, the first one you may have heard of called Relic Blade. Cannot wait to introduce you to this game. I, I love, those of you who know me and have followed my videos, you know I love Frostgrave. Frostgrave is just like one of my favorite games ever. Um, just cannot get enough of it. But Relic Blade is another one. It comes in a close second. And um, it's just a very, it's a fascinating game. The, uh, the um, creator of the game, is his name is Sean Sutter. He does everything for this game, pretty much. He does the art. He does the writing of the rules. Uh, he sculpts the minis. Um, someone else, I think, casts them. Uh, but he handles all the fulfillment, the shipping, and things like that. And um, he's sort of like a, a one-man machine. And Relic Blade is, he has some other games, but Relic Blade is the one that I think he's best known for. If you're not familiar with it, stay tuned. I'm going to be playing some solo games of this very soon. Uh, if you order a uh, rule book from him, whether hardback or the, it comes in softback also. One of the things I love that Sean does is he personally draws you a little thing and then writes you a message in the book. I've got a there's more than one book. There's a couple different ones. And um, he also sends along little, like whenever I order miniatures, um, not every time, but sometimes when I order miniatures, he'll do a little sketch of a character and, and sign it or whatever. But little t personal touches like that, they, they really go a long way. So Relic Blade, coming very soon. Another one that I've, I cannot believe I haven't shot any videos of this. Um, I've played it uh, once. I don't think I played it right. So I went back I reviewed the rules, and then I created my own cheat sheet, which I'm going to start doing for most of the games I play. Most of the solo games I play, there are just so many rules. And when you play solo, you know, well, let me, let me take a step back. When you play against an opponent um, who knows the game, if you forget a rule, typically your opponent will remind you of the rule, especially if it goes in your favor or against or in their favor. They'll remind you. Um, playing solo games is very tricky because, especially like me, where I play a lot of solo games, um, rules to me are just sort of their guidelines, right? What movie was that? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. More guidelines. Um, I, tr I do truly want to play the games by the rules. But, um, and I know I irritate a lot of my viewers sometimes when I miss rules or misinterpret rules and things like that. So I'm trying to be better about that by creating my own cheat sheets for the games I play and keeping them handy. Well, I just finished creating a cheat sheet for this game, Demon Ship. Now, uh, if you've not heard of Demon Ship, it's, a, it's called a micro skirmish war game. And it's from uh, Black, Studio, Black Sight Studios. Uh, they, they make games like uh, Don't Look Back, uh, Lunar, and there's some other ones. And Lunar is another one that I've been really wanting to play, but I don't think it has solo rules. But Demon Ship uh, is this little game. It plays on a 6-inch by 6-inch piece of play area, terrain piece. And it comes with movable parts, and you... When you, when you move from room to room, you rearrange the parts. And I'll go over the whole thing when I go through, uh, when I play a game. But I've got a game of this uh, already recorded. It's not 
edited yet. And uh, I'll try to have that up and ready for next week. There are some other games I'm not 100% certain of. Um, one of the things I've had a lot of requests for, and I, I've had so many requests for this, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and break down and do it. Um, there, are, there are a series of solo fantasy uh, dungeon crawler games. Uh, I've played some of them. I've recorded some of them and shared them with you. Some I haven't. And um, typically, my problem is I have so many games. I jump from game to game to game to game to game. But I've had so many requests to return to some of these games that I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But there's a caveat. Um, I don't want uh, I don't want to burn out on these games. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot maybe uh, well they're going to be small ten minute videos. All right, ten minute videos, and uh, I'll shoot like two or three a week. So it'll be sort of like a serial type thing, but they're not going to be hour long videos that you you have to watch. But what are they for? So one of them is two d six dungeon, which is um, which is one of my favorite solo fantasy. Uh, um, it's a it's a write and play game. You you can play with miniatures, but it's really writing and drawing the map and rolling randomly and seeing what happens to your characters. Another one is called D100 Dungeon. I've had a lot of requests to return to that. I'm gonna do that. And then the other one um, is a uh, is a brand new one that I just discovered called, and I just I knew I was gonna go blank on it. The rule book is upstairs, and I'm not gonna roll, I'm not gonna run up there and get it. It's called Dare D-E-R, Dare Connoisseur or Canisar. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have. I'll put a link in the video description below for that game. Um, it's got a it's got an unusual name. I, I ordered the PDF was so blown away by it, I went ahead and ordered a print copy, a uh, paperback of it, and uh, I just got that in the mail a couple days ago. Um, I want to go through that game and highlight some of the rules and create my own cheat sheet before I start playing it, but um, here's my thing. Um, this Tabletop Engineer, the Tabletop Engineer Plays channel, um, it, it, it has these up and down lulls, and that's all on me. That's on me because I'll frequently post a lot of videos, and then I'll take a break, then I'll post videos and take a break. <coughs> and um, I, I want to try to give you more consistent uh, videos. I've tried to release like Frostgrave videos every Wednesday, and that's, that, that's sort of hard. It may become every other Wednesday. I've tried to release five Parsecs videos every Friday, and that gets kind of hard. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to make a list of all the games that I play, that I like to play. I'm going to make a list of the games that you want to see me play. And I'm just going to come up with some sort of realistic schedule so that I can start providing you the videos that you want to see played. Uh, and you can be sort of, you, you know something's coming. Um, because like I said, I, a lot of these games I've sort of walked away from. I never truly walk away from a game. I'll walk away from it and then come back to it months later, a year later, whatever. Um, but I want to be a little more consistent in that because I know that a lot of you uh, like to watch uh, the playthrough videos, especially for games you may not know about or know how to play and you watch my videos. So I want to be more diligent in providing that to you. And what that's going to what that's going to require on me is is shooting a lot of videos and getting ahead, like having videos queued up a week or two weeks in advance so that I don't feel this pressure, this load um, to just constantly be shooting a new video every day. I need, I need this moment to, um, to get ahead. So I'm using this week and part of last week to sort of get ahead on some videos. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to, I'm probably going to do that for at least a couple weeks and, and try to, try to maybe get a month out. That may be a little, that may be stretching it, but I'd like to be a month out. We're like the video I shoot today won't be released for four weeks. That buys me time to edit it. Uh, it buys me time to, um, to do any kind of uh, cleanup of the video. Um, uh, you know, maybe shoot two or three games at once because a lot of times when I have all, like for instance, let's take Frostgrave. When I have my Frostgrave out, I have my miniatures out. What I'd much rather do is play two or three Frostgraves in a row, record them, edit them all at once, and then release those uh, over time. 
That way I don't have to change the mat or, you know, get my minis put away and then get them back out again. I can, I'm sort of in the mindset of I'm playing Frostgrave. And so I've been doing that. And so right now I think I've got two Frostgrave episodes uh, already videoed, not edited. Um, and today I'm playing Frostgrave. Um, maybe I'll play two and that would get me four. That, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do four uh, games out. Um, by the way, speaking of Frostgrave, if you've been following and you know about the um, the uh, Nemesis thing, uh, the last two videos that I shot, I did not roll for my Nemesis. It's down to like 12 now, I think, or 11. So there's like a 50-50 shot. The Nemesis is going to make an appearance. I've gotten very lucky um, in my nemesis has not made an appearance yet, which is making me nervous because the the scenarios that I keep coming up with to play, they're getting a little more difficult. And so what I'm worried about is I'm going to come up with this really extremely difficult frost gray scenario, and then my nemesis is going to show up, and I'm going to be like, well, it's been good knowing you, wizard and apprentice. But anyway, we'll see. All right. So listen, thank you for your continued support of the channel. Um, I, I have not given up on gaming. I've just had a crazy last two weeks, and I wanted to shoot some sort of video and let you know that uh, I'm okay, <coughs> except for the, the cough that occasionally happens. Um, my voice finally came back. Um, the, the pollen level in Atlanta, it hit a record the other day, the third highest in recorded, I think, in like 20 years. It was up in the 8,000 range. I went outside, and I literally, uh, I didn't know about it at the time. I took a you know, I was breathing, and then all of a sudden, I just got into a. It was it was almost like a panic attack. I couldn't, I couldn't get enough air, and um, I went in and checked, and sure enough, it was like eight thousand. Which, for those of you who don't know, like three thousand triggers my allergies, so eight thousand was pretty bad. Um, so anyway, I'm fine. My dad is fine. My son, we've got a couple more days um, of of his spring break that I want to spend some time with him. I am still shooting some videos, but videos are coming back. I'm going to try to be more consistent with uh, the games I play. I would love to hear from you. If there's a game I used to play that I don't play anymore that you want to see me bring back, I can't promise it'll become a regular thing. Um, some games just, you know, some games I play and they just, they're fun, but okay, that's it. I played it and, and I'm sort of done with it. Um, if there's a game or two or 10 that you have seen me play that you want to see me play again, let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm happy playing them again. I've got to fit them into the schedule, but um, it may be a game that I just sort of, you know, eh. And, and that happens. Um, there are games I have friends that play uh, these games. They, they, they introduce it to me, and I'm like, okay, it's, it was okay. But the games I play may not interest you and vice versa, but um, I'm, I'm happy to give them a second try if you have a request. All right, this video has gone on long enough. Thank you for uh, thank you for your patience. I'll be back next week with some playthrough videos. Uh, until then, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Everybody, take care. Check out the new RPG and Wargame newsletter. Each week, the Tabletop Engineer shares news, products, Kickstarters, and much more related to the gaming hobby. It's free to subscribe, so check out the link in the video description below to sign up.